Hey, what are you guys up to? Is this the new technology? Yeah, you can do everything that you can on a laptop, but more. Oh, wow. And I can also use my digital pen to draw on it. No kidding. And you can even make movies. Hey, that's me. That's awesome. <laughs> wow, I'm so excited that all of our middle school and upper school students are going to have a chance to have this incredible technology from Apple. It's awesome. And we are so excited. But this is your Minute, Minute with Mike. Mike. We want to welcome Dr. Jeremiah Johnson to PCA. He's going to have a dual role with church. He's going to be the Associate Pastor of Apologetics and Cultural Engagement. And then he's also going to be our Dean of Spiritual Development here at PCA. He's been one of our speakers at BWI, but he's also one of the nation's and really the world's most profound apologetics pastors. And we're so excited we get to partner with him to make sure and ensure our kids are being grown and spiritually developed as faith field lions. The Zig Ziglar event, I'm so excited and still pumped from that Sunday night. It was incredible. The Leadership Award Banquet awarded Dr. James and Shirley Dobson, and over a thousand people joined us at the Ford Center at the Star. We raised over $2 million, and all of those proceeds will go directly to benefit sponsored child, PCA's tuition assistance program, and we want to thank every single one of you who are a part of that special event. The King's Academy Spring Partner Day is Thursday, May 12th. We want to give a special shout out to all the partners and volunteers who help us make this event so special and help our kids out. The National Day of Prayer is Thursday, May 5th, and Prestwood Baptist Church will host a special time of prayer in the chapel at noon. We'd love to invite you to be a part of that. I'm also going to have a chance to lead prayer for education at the Hope Center for their annual observance of National Day of Prayer there. Invite you out to that special event also. In our Did You Know segment, I wanted to highlight our art expo that happened here at the upper school and also the lower school. Our kiddos are super talented, but I want to give a special shout out to our senior, Libby Dasku. She won this Invitational Award at Top Award Selected by Faculty from the Young American Talent. Libby was honored at an award ceremony where she received $500 for her award. It's an incredible special piece, as you can see. She represented PCA so beautifully, and she does an incredible job with her amazing work about life. All the artwork that'll be a part of the show will be reproduced on Yard Signs to create an innovative educational outdoor traveling show, which runs from April 25th to May 27th. And this exhibition will be used and displayed all over the DFW area. So keep an eye out and congratulations to Libby. At the end of December, Pastor Graham and his incredible wife, Deb, are leading a trip to Israel. I am super excited about this because I get to go for the first time with my wife, Dina, to Israel, and we'd love for you to join us if you can. Now, there's an informational meeting that's happening this Sunday, right after church here on the Plano campus in the Student Ministry Building at 12.30. So if you're interested, come out, learn more about it. We'd love for you to join us. We have had a banner spring already, both athletics and musical. The musical was so great. I love the music man down here in the Plano campus. Just got done celebrating a bunch of our kids at North. Track, we've got kiddos going to state and doing great things at regionals. Golf was incredible, we got people going to state. They did a great job at North, as a matter of fact, placing in state as well. We've got baseball that is doing amazing, softball is doing terrific. It's just amazing to see our kids do so many wonderful things in the fine arts, in the athletics, in the different events, and it has been a special time of year. Now, I'm reminded this week of my memory verse, which is out of Romans 14, 8, which is, says, for as we live, we live for Christ. As we die, we die for Christ. So as we live and we die, we do for the Lord. It's a reminder of so busy spring right now and to be reminded about the most important thing, which is we live for Christ. He lives within us. I just want to challenge you, especially if you're a senior parent or if you're a parent that feels like you're on turbo all the time, going to a million different activities, don't miss the journey for the destination. I know you got a lot of events, different things that are happening, but really Christ is in every single day. And I just want you to make sure you capture those moments with him. Spend time every day. It's been powerful for me to spend just a few moments every single day with Christ to be reminded that I live in Him and nothing comes without Him. And I want you all to be reminded your love.